Hello there and good morning. Well, what a week we've had on the Brexit front. And where are we with it all now? Firstly, Theresa May has now publicly become the lame duck Prime Minister we all knew she was. She's lost support in her party, she's lost support in her parliamentary party, and also lost any support she may have had amongst the Eurocrats, which was, anyway, mostly a mirage mixed with smoke and mirrors. And furthermore, the flaws in her deal remain unchanged, and will not be changed, so it should be binned, and Parliament will almost certainly do the binning at the first chance they get. Now, under current EU and UK law, the UK will leave the EU at 11pm on the 29th of March 2019, which is only 104 days away, or 14 weeks and 6 days, and we have Christmas in between, so if nothing happens from now until Parliament reconvenes on the 7th of January, then that reduces down to just 11 weeks and 4 days, and that includes weekends. And for all those dreaming of a second referendum, the BBC went to the Electoral Commission to ask how long that would take to achieve. The Commission replied that it has contingency plans in place and is ready to respond quickly to an unscheduled poll, but said that even if it used the last referendum as a template, it would take about 11 weeks just to get through Parliament. It took seven months last time. Then there'd be all the debates and meetings and hustings and leaflets and TV appearances by Clegg saying that there will be no EU army and, well, you know, all that sort of stuff. Just what we had last time, but with knobs on. Then there'd be the vote itself. But 11 weeks to get through Parliament, I reckon there'll be an on pass there as well, because the argument will be totally focused on what to put on the ballot paper itself. If a referendum was forced on them, one side would want a choice between the May deal and leaving on WTO terms, and the other would want it on a choice between the May deal and remaining in the EU. And some would like to see a multiple choice between the three options. And remember, you can't campaign on a referendum until you know for sure what's on the ballot paper, can you? So the actual referendum campaign and vote would end up taking place either as we were leaving the EU or more probably after the event. So with the law as it stands, it's a bit of a non-starter. And full renegotiation of a deal? How likely is that? So surely to respect the will of the people, as indicated in the June the 23rd 2016 EU referendum, the country should now plan to withdraw from the EU on World Trade Organisation terms on that date and time. We just need to tell the EU that is what we're doing, and ask them if they need anything to help them make a success of it, and I'm sure we'll quickly come to the relevant short-term agreements. But the UK establishment of Remainers will not be happy with this. But as I see it, the only routes they have open to them are to accept May's deal and hope it will end up pulling the UK back into the EU, which is a gamble, or try and extend Article 50, which needs the unanimous help of a currently unhelpful EU27, or to opt for political suicide and revoke the Article 50 letter. And this is the situation whichever party is in power. So what do you think will happen? And what would you prefer to happen? Please let us all know in the comments below and thank you for watching.